so welcome back to a lecture on set so now we are going to talk about the power set let a be the a be a non empty set then collection of all possible subsets of set a is known as power set okay the collection of all the uh, possible subsets of uh, a is called the uh, power set of uh, set a and it is denoted by p of a p of a is denoted by p of a and for example suppose a equal to set 1 2 3 1 2 and 3 and therefore p of a will be p of a will be equal to set of uh, we told that null set is a uh, subset of all the sets and so null set and first remember one two three one two this is how we write the subsets of a set and one two can have one two it can have two three it can have also uh, three one three one and it can uh, that set is itself a subset of that set set one two three so now we got an uh, eight elements in the power set that is we you know two raised to n two raised to n is the number of subsets possible for a set so here the number of elements is three so two raised to three that will be eight and so we have now eight elements so now let's look at some properties of power set properties of power set properties okay some properties of uh, power set are the first one is uh, each element of a power set is a set each element of a power set is a set yes i have written here as a set look here all the elements are uh, written as a set it is uh, written in the braces and the second property it is uh, if if a is a subset of b a is a subset of b then p of a p of a will be a subset of p of b p of b this is second property if a is a subset of b then p of a is a subset of uh, p of b and then the third property is power set of any set is always non empty the power set of any set cannot be never never ever become an empty set okay and the fourth one that is that if a a has n elements we have told that before if a has n elements then p of a that is the power set of a we have two raised to n elements that is the number of subsets two raised to n elements two raised to n elements and so the fifth property is that p of a intersection p of a intersection p of b p of a intersection p of b will be equal to p of a intersection b will be equal to p of a intersection b and the sixth property we can uh, say that p of a union p of a union p of b will not be equal to p of a union b will not be equal to p of a union b that's the property here to be noted and now the seventh property is that so we have to know what is the value of p of a union p of b that is p of a p of a union p of b p of a union p of b will be we don't know the exact value but it will be the sub it will be a subset of p of a union b p of a union b p of a union b so that was that was the 
properties and now we are moving for a question so let's go uh, so the question is if set a equal to 1 3 5 then uh, number of elements in p of p of a that is the question we know that here a is given that a equal to uh, set 1 3 5 set 1 3 5 and we know n of p of a n of p of a that is the number of power sets that will be equal to 2 raised to the number of elements that is 2 uh, number of elements here is 3 so 2 raised to 3 that will be equal to 8 and now we have to find the p of p of a or n of p of p of a so let's find it n of p of p of a will be equal to there are eight elements in the power set of a so uh, the, the number of power set of power sets of that power set will be equal to 2 raised to 8 2 raised to 8 that is equal to 256 256 okay so next question and consider a equal to 1 2 and b equal to 2 3 then which of the following option is correct p of a union b is not equal to p of a union p of b p of a union b is equal to p of a union p of b and c p of a union b is equal to p of a intersection p of b so we know the answer now the question is from the uh, properties of power set that is option a is the correct answer option a that is p of a union b never be equal to p of a union p of a union p of b but p of a intersection b will be equal to p of a intersection p of b okay and next question uh, so uh, i think there is uh, we are going to the next topic that is about the venn diagram so venn diagram a Swiss mathematician Euler gave an idea to represent a set by the points in a closed curve. Later on, British mathematician John Venn brought this idea to practice. So the diagrams drawn to represent sets are called Venn-Euler diagram or simply Venn diagram. In Venn diagram, the universal set is represented by a rectangular region and a set is represented by circle or a closed geometrical figure inside the universal set. Also, an element of a set A is represented by a point within the circle of set A. For example, if uh, u equal to, u is the universal set, u equal to 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Up, up to 10 and a equal to a equal to set 1, 2, 3 a equal to set 1, 2, 3 then the Venn diagram can be drawn like this uh, maybe I will take the okay when First row a rectangle which represents the uh, represents the universal set, and then uh, draw the set A. Set A, a, a set inside can be uh, represented by a circle. So set A can be represented by a circle, and we can uh, include the elements here as points. That is, uh, A has 1, 2, 3 inside that. That is, we can do 3 points 1, 2, 3. We can label it 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, and 3. And this is the universal set U. The bigger triangle will be, will be the universal set. And you know, 1, 2, 3 is inside the A, and others will be outside. That is 4. We can write here 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, anywhere, okay? They are, they are represented by the points inside that Venn diagram. Okay, so that was the uh, Venn diagram. Now, moving to the operations on set. 
there are different types of operations on set like the union of two sets intersection of two sets uh, disjoint of two sets difference of two sets symmetric difference of two sets so let's uh, have a look at them and the first one first operation is that the uh, is the union of set union of sets union of sets let a and b be two sets then union of set a and b is a set of all those elements which are in a or in b or in both a and b it is denoted by a union b like this a union a u b a union b and read as a union b symbolically a union b symbolically a union b can be written like this that is uh, a union b equal to x such that x element of a x element of a or x element of b or x element of b x element of b and so clearly x element of x element of a union b x element of a union b or which implies x element of a x element of a or x element of b x element of b and if if x is not an element of a if x is not an element of a and x is not an element of b x is not an element of b then which implies x is not an element of a and x is not an element of b the venn diagram of uh, a union b is drawn uh, or can be drawn like this you can draw it here i am drawing different situations of uh, uh, of the venn diagram for a uh, union of in a union of two sets so first we need to draw the universal set like a big uh, rectangle that can be represented by u and there inside if the sets are like this Uh, the outer one be the set B and the inner one be A. Then the shader portion, shader portion means this portion. This portion will represent the A union B. Okay, and for if the uh, another other case, another case be like this. If the sets are like this if this is a and uh, this is b and this is the universal set then a union b here will be the shader portion uh, this portion this shader here okay and next case if two sets are like this a and b there are no common elements in a and b which means they are disjoint sets and the uh, a, the union of them will be an empty set for example if if a equal to if a equal to set of 1 2 3 and 4 and b equal to b equal to set of mm, 4 8 4 8 5 6 4 8 5 6 then a union b will be equal to a union b will be equal to you just need to write all the elements from them uh, that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 uh, there is no 7 and 8 that will be the union of a and b that is a union b equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 uh, 5 and 6 and 8 okay and we can uh, represent this union of sets in general form also the union of a finite number of sets a uh, let a1 a1 a2 a2 
to a3 etc up to a n is represented by a1 union a2 union a3 union etc up to union a n or it can be simply represented by union from union i equal to 1 to n a i okay and now moving to the next operation that is the intersection of sets intersection of set intersection intersection if a and b are two sets then intersection of a and b is a set of all those elements which are in both a and b so i think there was a mistake in the previous venn diagram what is that uh, there is a mistake in the venn diagram here a union b will not it will be represented by like this it, it must include all the elements in A and B. This uh, the first one I have drawn was the uh, Venn diagram for the intersection of A and B. Sorry, and so now moving to the uh, intersection. Yes, what was we talking? Uh, if A and B are two sets, then intersection of A and B is a set of all those elements which are in both A and B, and the intersection of A and B is denoted by. Uh, this and read as a intersection b a intersection b symbolically we can write a intersection b as a intersection b as x such that x such that x element of a x element of a and x element of and here we use and there we use uh, or in the union here we use and and x element of b x element of b if x element of if if this x is an element of a intersection b x is an element of a intersection b which implies x is an element of a and x element of x element of b x element of b and if x is not an element of a intersection B, A intersection B, which is which implies uh, X is not an element of A or X is not an element of B. Okay, we can draw the Venn diagram for this. For Venn diagram, we can draw a bigger rectangle and two sets like that the previous ones now let this be a and uh, this be b and u then the then the union will be represented by oh, sorry uh, the, uh, the intersection will be represented by just this okay this one and for the next one And the one like this if this is the rectangle and the let a be the set here like this a and b then the intersection will be represented by the the middle portion between them or the or the common portion that is uh, this one and in another case if they are disjoint set there will be no elements in the a intersection b like the previous one so let's now look at the general form the intersection of a finite number of sets a1 a2 a3 etc up to a n is represented by a1 intersection a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 a3 intersection a4 intersection etc etc up to intersection an 
and simply it can be written like this uh, this intersection i equal to 1 to n a i so let's uh, move for the next operation of set that is disjoint of set what do you mean by disjoint of set next operation that is the disjoint of set E, two sets A and B are known as disjoint sets if A intersection B if A intersection B is equal to a null set is equal to a null set that is if A and B have no common elements like the previous one ha I have written here or drawn here and A intersection B must be equal to the null set then the Venn diagram can be shown like that the previous one I have drawn they will have no common portions in their Venn diagram A and B okay and for example for example if A equal to A equal to set 1 2 3 set 1 2 3 and B equal to set of 4 5 6 set of 4 5 6 then the intersection uh, sorry the disjoint of two, these two sets will be uh, sorry intersection of these two sets will be zero and they are uh, disjoint sets that is intersection a intersection b will be equal to zero there are no common elements in a and b so the next one it is difference of two sets difference of difference of sets difference difference of sets if a and b are two non empty sets then difference of a and b is a set of all those elements which are element which are in a but not in b it is denoted by a minus b what is that the difference of a and b is a set of all those elements which are in a those elements which are in a but not in b not in b it is denoted by a minus b and if the difference of two sets is b minus a if b if two difference of two sets is b minus a then it is a set those of those elements which are in b but not in a hence a minus b hence a minus b can be written like this x such that x x such that x element of a x element of a and x is not an element of b x is not an element of b that's the point here and if b minus a b minus a can be represented like this x is not an element of x such that x is not an element of a and x is an element of b it's an x is an element of b okay and uh, x element of a minus b if x element of x element of a minus b then it implies x is an element of a x is an element of a this is converse okay x is an element of a but x is not an element of b and if x is an element of b minus a is an element of b minus a we can say that x is an element of b but x is not an element of a okay and the venn diagram can be shown like this one okay this be u and the two sets we A, A, B, 
the inside one then a union b will be represented by oh sorry a minus b can be represented by a this be the a this is a and this is b okay then uh, a minus b will contain only a but no b so that is this one will be the a minus b set a minus b and now in the other case we can draw like if it was b minus a then a must be uh, excluded and the, all the elements in the b okay this this uh, this portion will be unshaded and the other portions will be shaded and for the if this is another Venn diagram if this is a and this is b then a minus b can be uh, can be represented by this portion excluding those elements which are common between a and b this portion is and and, and also uh, totally we can exclude uh, that b portion okay and so here we must know we must note that a minus b a minus b we will not be equal to b minus a a minus b will not be equal to b minus a and a minus b is a a minus b is a subset of a is a subset of a and b minus a b minus a is a subset of subset of b okay this is a subset of b and the third point to be noted here a minus a minus null set will be equal to a and a minus a a minus a will be equal to the null set phi null set phi and set a minus b set a minus b a minus b and b minus a are disjoint sets okay set a minus b and a minus b minus b b minus a are disjoint sets and the next operation we need to know is the is the symmetric difference symmetric difference symmetric difference symmetric difference of two sets okay and <clears throat> if a and b are two sets then a minus b union a minus b union a minus b union b minus a b minus a is known as symmetric difference this a minus b union b minus a will be the symmetric difference of set a and b and denoted by this symbol okay denoted by this and when diagram can be drawn like this let uh, a be this set and b be another set a b and this is the universal set then the symmetry difference a a a asymmetric b will be uh, can be shown by the shaded portion like this excluding the a intersection b portion here okay this is the uh, symmetric difference of sets and for example if a equal to for example if a equal to 1 2 3 a equal to set 1 2 3 set 1 2 3 and b equal to set 3 4 3 4 5 6 3 4 5 6 then a symmetric b a symmetric difference of b will be equal to a minus b a minus b union b minus a right? yes a minus b union b minus a so a minus b will be equal to a minus b a minus b will be equal to 1 2 okay 
set 1 2 we must exclude the 3 which is common in a and b okay 1 2 a minus b will be equal to uh, set 1 2 and union b minus a b minus a also we must exclude this 3 so 4 5 6 4 5 6 and the union of them will be 1 2 4 5 and 6 this is the symmetry difference of two sets and here we must note that symmetry difference can also be written as a symmetric b symmetry difference of uh, a and b will be equal to a union b a union b minus a intersection b from the Venn diagram we can easily find, find that a my a union b minus a intersection b and if uh, another another one to be noted here is that a symmetry difference of b will be equal to b symmetric difference a that is symmetric difference is commutative uh, is commutative commutative okay and so the next operation is complement of set complement of two set or the complement sorry complement of set complement of set complement okay the complement of set a is the set of all those elements which are in universal set but not in a it is denoted by the symbol a dash or a and a c over a okay a complement a dash or a a a a c over a and what is that the complement of set A is a set of all those elements which are in universal set but they are not in A. That is the we can draw the Venn diagram like this if this is the universal set and this is the set A then the Venn diagram or the uh, complement will be uh, simply this one those elements which are in universal set but not in A okay and it can also be noted if u is the universal set and a is a will be the subset a will be the proper subset of universal set u and a complement can be shown that it is equal to u minus a u minus a that is x such that x such that x element of u x element of u but x not an element of not an element of a okay not an element of a so the venn diagram we have drawn here and then if for example if u equal to u equal to set 1 2 3 and 4 and 5 4 and 5 okay then a will be equal to then let a equal to 2 4 2 4 6 8 and so on then a complement will be equal to a complement will be equal to u minus a u minus a that is uh, those elements in the a must be included from u that is set 1 these are the uh, set of the even numbers a is a set of even numbers so uh, let here uh, it extends to uh, infinity then here the a common will be equal to the set of the odd numbers that is one three five seven and so on okay and here you must note one thing is that not one thing some points you have to note here that is the null set null set will be equal to u complement u, uh, that is the complement of the universal set will be an empty set that is null set 
and second po point is the the complement of null set will be equal to u or the universal set and the a complement the wall complement a complement the wall complement will be equal to a and a union a complement a union a complement will be equal to u and a intersection a intersection a complement will be equal to null set a intersection a complement there will be no common elements for a and uh, uh, sorry not uh, a complement a and the complement okay so these were the uh, different operations on set and now we are going to do some problems related to this uh, if u equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and a equal to 3, 2, 4, 6, 8 and b equal to 2, 3, 5, uh, 7 then a union be the wall complement um, a complement intersection b complement and a symmetric difference of b is equal to which are the option so this is a clubbed question so we can do it, it by okay we can do it here here given that u equal to set of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and a equal to a equal to set of 2 4 6 8 b equal to b equal to set of 2 3 5 7 2 3 5 7 2 3 5 7 and now a complement will be equal to a complement will be equal to u minus a and that is u is 1 2 3 4 etc uh, up to 9 and so we can write a minus b as 1 3 1 3 2 must be minus uh, 1 3 5 7 this is 3 okay 3 1 3 5 7 uh, and 9 7 and 9 u minus a that is a complement is uh, 1 3 5 7 9 and now b complement will be equal to b complement will be equal to set of uh, that is the u minus b u minus b that will be equal to uh, 1 2 sorry 1 4 6 8 and 9 that is the u com b complement and now we have to find the a union b and then the a union b the whole complement a union b will be equal to a union b a union b the first question is a union b the whole complement so a union b will be equal to uh, 2 2 3 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay and therefore a union b the whole complement a union b the whole complement will be equal to u minus a union b u minus a union b that is u minus a union b means there are only uh, two elements that are uh, not common that is 1 and 9 1 and 9 1 and 9 and the second one it is the second one is uh, to find the a complement intersection b complement here a we, we have found a complement and b complement so a in this a complement intersection b complement will be equal to what are common there 1 and 9 right 1 and 9 1 and 9 same as the first result and then we have to find the symmetry difference right symmetry difference for for that we have to find a minus b a minus b a minus b and a minus b is that 4 6 8 4 6 8 and b minus a is b minus a is equal to 3 5 7 3 5 7 3 5 7 so 
symmetry difference of A and B will be equal to uh, A minus B union A minus B union B minus A B minus A A minus B union B minus A that is equal to uh, that is equal to 3 4 5 6 7 8 and that's all okay hope you got that and moving to the next question so we have to find the answer right so that is 3 4 1 1 9 1 9 and 3 4 5 6 7 8 so which is the answer 1 9 1 9 3 4 5 6 7 8 that is the option b is the right answer option b is the right answer okay moving to the next question the the shader region in the given figure is which is the shader figure here that's the question sorry i am unable to see and shader region in this question that's the mistake so let's find out the options okay uh, options that is b intersection a union c b intersection a union c will be uh, here that is the b b is here the intersection of a union c a union c will be uh, this portion right this portion is a union c a union c and so we need to find the intersection of a union c and b so this this small portion this small portion will be the uh, a uh, the option a okay now moving to the option b uh, we are doing like this because there is no shader region as the question okay so the b option is b union a intersection b here we know that a intersection b is the portion this portion okay a intersection b Oh, uh, in this question, A union C was that the wall wall region. Sorry, uh, in this question, A union C uh, on the option A, A union C was this. Okay, all this portion, A union C. And now the A intersection B, uh, B intersection A union C will be a small portion here. A small portion. Okay, this will be the option A. Sorry, and now option b that is b union b union a intersection c a intersection first we need to find a intersection c a intersection c is this portion and so uh, the intersection of a intersections a intersection c and b will be this small portion here and now the option c that is b intersection a minus c so uh, first we need to find the uh, a minus c a minus c will be will be equal will be like this excluding all that elements of c so this region will be represented by the a minus c and that intersection of uh, that intersection intersects with b so this portion will be the this portion will be the option c and now option d b minus a union c b minus a union c first we need to find a union c a union c will be this wall entity okay and uh, b minus b minus a uh, must be this guy that is excluding that elements of a union c from b that is this one okay so these were the oh we have drawn all those shader regions now if the question you get the uh, another question you can do like this okay now moving to the next question it is if u equal to x such that x square x raised to 5 minus 6 x raised to 4 plus 11 x cube minus 6 x square equal to 0 and a equal to x such that x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 and b equal to x such that x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0 what is a intersection b the whole complement equal to so here we need to find the values of x from those equations so, so doing the calculations of uh, this uh, this first equation we get u as u will be equal to the set 0 1 2 and 3 they are the values of the x and here a will be 
a will be equal to the solution of that equation we get uh, a will be 2 3 2 and 3 and b will be equal to set of 1 2 so therefore a intersection b a intersection b will be equal to 2 set 2 will be equal to set 2 and hence a intersection b the wall complement a intersection b the wall complement will be equal to u minus a intersection b and that is equal to uh, u is uh, the total one that is 0, 0 1 2 3 and so we get the a intersection with the whole complement as 0 1 and 3 okay so now moving to the next portion that is the law of algebra of sets if a and b if mm, okay uh, if a b and c are three non empty sets then the first one it is item potent law item potent i am talking about the item potent law item potent law item potent law that is a union a union a will be equal to a that is the first part a part of the item potent law b part of the item potent law is a intersection a is also a that is a union a equal to a and a intersection a is equal to a and the second law that is the identity law identity law identity law in identity law that is a union a union null set will be equal to they are simple laws okay a union null set will be equal to a and in the b that is a intersection u a intersection universal set will be always equal to a and now the third law that is communi uh, sorry commutative law it is commutative law commutative law commutative law it says that a union b a union will b will be equal to b union a that is a commutative law and also also a intersection b a intersection b is also equal to b intersection b, b intersection a they are commutative and and the fourth law that is associative law associative law associative law in associative law there is uh, there are two parts a intersection a union b a union b union c a union b union c is equal to a union b union c a union b union c is equal equal to a union b union c okay and and b that is a intersection b intersection c a intersection b intersection c is equal to a intersection b a intersection b intersection c and the fifth law is a distributive law distributive law distributive law distributive law in that a union a union b intersection c a union b intersection c is equal to a union b a union b intersection a union c a, a union b intersection a a a union c okay
a union b intersection c equal to a union b intersection a union c that is the distributive law we are distributing this union to the inside portion that like we do the multiplication like this a multiplied by b plus c what we do is uh, it is similar to that of this one this operation here okay and the b a intersection b union c a intersection b union c will be equal to a intersection b a intersection b union a intersection c a union a intersection b union a intersection c and the very important law is that that is the d morgan's law d morgan's law d morgan's law There are four set of law that is first law that is a union b a union b the whole complement the a union b the whole complement will be a complement in the section b complement a complement in the section b complement and like that a in the section b the whole complement a in the section b the whole complement will be equal to a complement union b complement and c that is a minus b a minus b union c a minus b union c equal to a minus b a minus b intersection a minus c a minus a minus b intersection uh, b intersection oh, a minus b intersection a minus c okay and d it is a minus b intersection c a minus b intersection c will be equal to a minus b union a minus b union a minus c okay so these were the laws related to uh, the set that is all law of algebra offsets okay now moving to some questions related to this um, if a and b are two sets then a in the section a union b the whole complement is equal to what a and b are two sets then a in the section a union b the whole complement so we need to apply the uh, different laws here that is that here told to find a intersection a union b the whole complement according to or by using the de morgan's law we can write a union b the whole complement as a complement intersection b complement that is a intersection a intersection a complement intersection b complement okay a complement intersection b complement this is by d morgan's law d morgan's law and now we can find the a intersection we can use the distributive property here or sorry we can use the associative law here associative law so by using associative law we can write it here as, uh, a in intersection a complement a intersection a complement intersection b complement they are the same okay a intersection a complement intersection b complement so this is by associative law associative law we may check the associative law okay associative law and now we know that a intersection a complement will be a will be null set and that intersection of b complement any the null set intersection of any set will be equal to the same that is the uh, null set itself okay we know because uh, this is because uh, why this become the zero is because a intersection a complement will be equal to zero that's a property and now so the answer will be option c that is null set and moving to the next question if a and b are 
uh, non empty sets then a intersection b union a minus b is equal to dash so and we are mm, mm, we need to find this and now here a intersection b a intersection b union a intersection b union a minus b we know that a minus b a minus b will be equal to a intersection b complement a intersection b complement and so applying that here in order to use the distributive property here okay and a intersection b union union a intersection b complement a intersection b complement so applying the u uh, applying the uh, distributive property here that is uh, you will get it as a applying distributive property we will get as get it as a intersection b union b complement okay and we know that b union b complement b union b complement or a union a complement will be equal to uh, u so here it is a intersection u a intersection u is a so the option is uh, option b that is a so moving to the next portion that is the cardinal cardinal number of a finite and infinite set cardinal number of a finite and infinite set the number of distinct elements in a finite set a is called cardinal number and it is denoted by n of a n of a okay the cardinal number this is this is the number of distinct elements in a finite set and if it is not finite set then it is called infinite set okay if it is not finite we have told that before and uh, for example if a equal to a equal to set of minus 3 minus 3 minus 1 minus uh, sorry 8 10 and 13 and 17 okay then n of a will be equal to n of a will be, will be equal to the number of elements there 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 elements are there so n of a will be equal to 6 that's all and there are some properties we uh, which are useful for uh, problems there are the first property if a and b a b and c are finite sets and u be the universal set okay then uh, the first property that is n of a union b n of a union b n of a union b will be equal to n of a plus n of b n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b n of a intersection b and like that if if a and b are disjoint sets then n of a union b if a and b are disjoint okay disjoint if a and disjoint if a and b are disjoint then n of a union b equal to n of a plus n of b itself Okay, there is no need for n of a intersection b because it will be an empty set or that is the number of elements will be zero that is empty and uh, the third property that is n of a union b union c a union b union c so that will be equal to n of a plus n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus minus n of a intersection b intersection b minus n of b intersection c b, b intersection c minus a intersection c n of a intersection c plus n of a intersection b intersection c okay and so the fourth one fourth one that is n of a minus b n of a minus b will be equal to n of a n of a minus b equal to n of a 
minus n of a in the section b n of a in the section b okay n of a minus b equal to n of a minus n of a in the section in the a in the section b and now <coughs> the fifth property that is n of a is the symmetry difference of a and b n of the symmetry difference of a and b will be equal to n of a plus n of b n of a plus n of b minus n of a in the session b n of 2n 2n a in the session b okay 2 2 times n of a in the session b 2 times a in the session b and now the sixth one that is n of a complement n of a complement will be equal to n of u n of u minus n of a n of a complement is n of u minus n of a that is simple and now n of seventh one that is n of a complement union b complement that is equal to n of u n of u minus n of a in the section b n of u minus n of a in the section b n of a union b oh, sorry a complement union b complement will be equal to n of u minus n of a in the section b and the eighth one it is n of n of a complement in the section b complement n of a in the section b complement so that will be equal to n of u n of u minus n of a union b n of a union b and and the ninth one will be n of a in the section b complement n of a in the section b complement is equal to n of a n of a minus n of a in the section b n of a minus n of a in the section b n of a complement union b complement equal to n of u minus n of a in the session b and n of a complement in the section b complement equal to n of u minus n of a union b okay and now n of a in the session b complement equal to n of a minus n of a in the session that is n that, that is the same as dot of the n of a minus b because a in the session b complement is a minus b okay the same as dot of n of a minus n, uh, n of a minus b that is n of a minus n of a in the session b and uh, now let's move for the question in a town of thousand families it was found that 40 percent of families by newspaper a and 20 percent families by newspaper b and 10 percent families by newspaper c five percent by a and b both a and b okay and three percent by both b and c and four percent by a and c if two percent families by all of three all of these three newspapers then uh, the number of families which by a only is uh, we have to find that okay here we have to find those cardinal numbers here that is n of a n of a can be found out by that is 40 percent of the uh, for families there are 10,000 families so 40 percent of 10,000 will be 40 by 100 multiplied by 10,000 that will be equal to 4000 and like that we now get the n of b as uh, that is uh, n of b 20 percent so 2000 n of b will be 2000 and n of uh, c will be equal to 10 percent right 10 percent so n of c will be 1000 1000 and now we can find n of a in the session b both a and b those those who read both a and b or by a and b that will be n of a in the session b and equal to that is five percent so 500 and n of b in the session c b in the session both reading b and c that is um, three percent right so three three hundred 
and n of now both reading c and a c and a so is c in the session a that will be one percentage oh sorry at uh that is a and c four percentage right so four percentage it will be four hundred four hundred and uh, there are two person families by all this, all those that is a in the sign of a in the section a in the section b in the section c and that is uh, two person so 200 200 people read all those newspapers or buy all those newspapers now we have to find only those those people who uh, read only a only a so n of a a in the session there which are common to a right n of a in the section those who does not read b that is b complement right those who does not re uh, read the uh, read them that is b complement in the section in the section c complement in the section c complement we can write it as a n of a in the section b union c the whole complement according to the b morgan's law B union C the whole complement, right? And now we can write this as applying the law that is uh, n of a intersection B complement will be equal to n of a intersection B complement will be n of a minus n of a intersection B, n of a minus n of a intersection B. So we can write this as n of a, n of a minus n of a intersection b union c n of a intersection b union c and now this n of a minus this n of a intersection b union c can be written as uh, n of minus total minus uh, when we do this n of a intersection b plus n of a intersection c so giving that minus 2 inside we get n of a intersection c n of a intersection c minus sorry and in and, and, uh, first one it is n of a intersection b okay n of a intersection b minus n of a intersection c a intersection c plus n of a union sorry a n of a intersection b intersection c okay so now we can apply all these values n of a we have n of a will be equal to 4000 n of a is 4000 and n of a intersection b is uh, intersection b is will be n of a intersection b is 500 500 minus 500 minus 400 n of a intersection c is 400 and plus n of a intersection b intersection b c is that is 200 so total we will get uh, minus we will get 3300 3300 stands and to know more about the cloud vendor visit our website you can google by taping cloud vendor gaurish site appears as the uh, first result and or uh, simply search cloud Mender and you will get the site as the, uh, as the third result and also you can follow us on different social media platforms and you can follow us on instagram and uh, you can follow on whatsapp i have created a whatsapp group for discussions on different doubts you have and the links are given in the description box also uh, a telegram group for discussion and the same purpose and uh, a channel is also formed for giving off your uh, learning steps and all the links are given in the description box you can check it later you can also ask your doubts as comments in youtube and if you want more videos which would be uploaded in the coming days please subscribe our channel and press that bell icon for getting notifications on time hope you guys understood the topic thanks for watching my video always be free to ask 
questions, subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you like this video, share it with your friends. See you guys.